All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's student Dr. Malachi Wright. Um, right now, it's currently 6, like 6.50, 6.45 in the morning. Um, I'm getting ready to get dressed. Um, I actually like, you know, just get ready uh, and then head to the school. Today is Friday, September the 1st. Uh, we have dental anatomy today. Dental anatomy lab today, cell bio today, and then that's a wrap. We have a quiz after that too, um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna take you along with me on this Friday day of my life, Friday, September the first. Um, it's not the busiest day, but we definitely have basically like a eight to four schedule, three. Something like that. Eight to three, eight to four, something around that range. So we gonna get it in today. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video with a friend, and I'm gonna take y'all on my day with me. Hopefully we do some interesting stuff. Oh, so today's the first day we're gonna be waxing up in a anatomy lab today. So we have to do a wax up of the contour of the tooth. Um, and then we have to like, build it up i think that's the same thing i don't know 100 sure but yeah we're gonna be doing that today so hopefully it works out well i've never waxed up anything before so it'll be my first time um but yeah we'll see how it goes so y'all see how it goes so um we're gonna head to the school and then go to class go to lab and then go from there so i'll see you all then Guys, I was walking to class this morning. I ran into some dental students here. Hey. Tell me your names. I'm Mia. <laughs> I'm Miriam. I'm Mia. Mia. Yeah. All right, awesome. So, what do we got going on today, y'all? Uh, we have lecture this morning. They don't have lab. We have lab. Yeah. yeah. We have lab on Wednesday. Wednesday. You guys have lab on Wednesday. How did that go for you all on on <laughs> what was it? Wednesday. Uh, it went. Yeah. It went. Yeah. It went. Yeah. We did a fractured tooth waxing and then a full. Contour? Yeah. Oh, of, gosh. Uh, number nine. How long did that take? The whole class? <laughs> yeah. We did it for like an hour, right? Yeah. The, the fracture was the first part. The fracture yeah. was the first part. Yeah. All right. Well, at least I'm going in with some knowledge on what's going yeah. on, y'all. It'll be fun. Yeah, it's going to be great. You're all going to see. Uh, we're going to be in there. We're going to be yeah. vlogging in the lab. Um, hopefully, it doesn't go too bad for me so you guys don't laugh at me. If you whacked up a tooth before, uh, remember, this is my first time, so um, <laughs> don't, don't fry me up in the comments, all right? Any parting words? Good luck with lab yeah, today. <laughs> Great luck with lab. All right. Um, you treatment plan that for a some type of restorative procedure. So TBC is you know buckle cusp. Yeah, no, man. Look, <laughs> the content the has to be made. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. I've been shuffling stuff around in mine. We so need the big bag. I'm just taking. I the big bag. I guess I need the big bag. Uh, what do we need that's in there? Uh, wax, I think you're typing on uh, your wax, heating. Oh, tip. I think mine's it. No, mine's it. I have as long as you have it all. Yeah, yeah, mine's it. So. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, snap. Cream first, cream on. It's the man himself. Yeah, I'm giving you a big shout out in this vlog. Yeah. We're ready for today, y'all. <laughs> this is my spot. Nobody sits next to me. And I'm at the end. It's a lonely island. All right, so during this part of the vlog, we had to go through, um, we were racking up to tooth number nine. 
we were going through and making sure that we had the mesial and distal contact points correct. We know the mesial is going to be 90 degree angle. Um, the distal one is going to be a little more curved. And we want to make sure that we have the central grooves aligned as well. So this is me just taking some time to make sure that my teeth look correct or my tooth number nine looks correct. The professor comes around, checks everyone's work, makes sure that the incisal angle is good and everything of that nature. So we use this wax. Our color wax is blue, obviously. And yeah, I mean, it wasn't too bad for my first go around. So I was pretty um, happy with my products. And the professor doctor who was here helping me out with my work really gave me some great advice and great points. So University of Maryland staff, they work really well. Here are some of the points that he gave me in regards to my wax up of tooth number nine so far. And this was the one for the chip tooth. So it was a chip tooth, then we had to build it all the way up. So let's hear what he has to say. Can I have the cover of your tin? Oh, yes. Oh, this is really good. Okay. See, I'm sitting here, nobody's bothering I you. I know, man. Help me focus. <laughs> you're making good artistic work. Well, all in all, this is a very good one, but when compared to the adjacent, mm -hmm. there might be slight area. Okay. Okay, a little tiny short area. Okay, towards the mesial on that side, yeah, right? yeah. okay? Tiny, tiny. Fish is very good. Palatal, you're good. But you know something is, I use the card mm -hmm. and just shave away from the line. Okay. Pretty good, man. How's it going? You head into your New York today, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. So my suggestion would be that when we're adding the wax, if we look at the instruments that we have available to us, the one instrument that I like to add a bulk of wax is going to be my spoon. And I know that Dr. Raderman went over um, with you guys temperatures and how to use the instruments to um, add the wax. But I like this spoon because I can dip it into my wax. All right, so these are what the screens look like when the professor is going over what we're doing for the day. That right there is a mesial contact point going up to the CEJ, then going to the distal contact point. This was my final full contour for tooth number nine, which looked really great. You know, my area was a little messy, but we gone. So that's all that matters. It looked great. I had a fantastic time. And typically at the University of Maryland, we have our bags and stuff that we could put into our cubbies that we share with one other person. So I'm heading to lab number, or lab letter A to put my bag into my cubby. And then we're going to have a lecture for cell and molecular biology, which I probably will not include in this video uh, solely because it could be a little dry at times. So we're going to put this stuff in our cubby and then we're going to transition to what we are doing outside before I drove home to school. So yeah, this is my cubby. This is operatory or this lab number or lab letter A. Oh! <laughs> Cheyenne, do not fall, bro. Hi, what's up everybody? So I'm on my way driving back home from school right now. So one thing, I opened up my laptop for my book bag to go and do some work uh, after school today and my laptop screen is completely black. So I'm gonna have to get my screen fixed. It looks like either it was stepped on or something of that nature, I don't know. But um, it looks like I'm gonna have to get it fixed. So. My screen is completely not working. Good thing is I have a iPad Pro. So my iPad Pro um, does a lot of what my laptop can do. Uh, we'll see if it can still hook into my extended uh, monitor at home so I can at least edit this video this weekend. Uh, but you know, when you have small setbacks or you know a big setback like your laptop not working, you know, you gotta be able to pivot, you know? 
and that's just one thing that you know I'm, I'm getting not more accustomed to but you know just having to learn from from previous experiences so anyway you're gonna have to pivot when you know things don't turn out your way or things pop up things happen so I'm gonna try to get this laptop fixed sometime this week um, I have work for four hours tomorrow and then four hours on Sunday so uh, I got to check my email for some stuff from that other than that uh, I think everything else has been pretty solid you all saw some of the pictures of my tooth in there and then look too bad um, we're gonna keep working on that and go from there you know so right now it's around five o'clock we have a quiz online that I'm gonna go and complete once I get home once I've done completed the quiz, I'll probably study for maybe an hour or two for um, dental anatomy, or I might just take the rest of the night off. Um, depends on how I'm feeling, um, and then we'll go from there. So, I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you for staying until the end of this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. I'll be coming up with content every single week, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.